We will be discussing the application of confocal microscopy to image fluorescently labeled and cleared tissues. In the last few years, the application of tissue clearing and molecular labeling approaches, such as fluorescent proteins and fluorescent immunolabeling, have dramatically increased. While researchers have been able to render tissues transparent and stain them, we get a significant amount of questions about tissue imaging and how to obtain 3D renderings from tissues. Of the different types of 3D imaging modalities, I'll be giving a brief introduction to confocal microscopy today. Before we get started, it is important to understand the different types of confocal microscopes and how they are used to image cleared tissues. Confocal microscopes can generally be grouped into three categories. Upright confocal microscopes, inverted confocal microscopes, and high content confocal microscopes. With an upright confocal, the objectives on the microscope are mounted above the tissue that is to be imaged. An upright confocal can use dipping objectives which allow for a substantial imaging depth into tissues. However, these devices are limited in imaging cell cultures and some well plate format tissues. Inverted confocal. The objective on the microscope is mounted below the tissue that is to be imaged. This type of system is ideal for cell culture imaging, but is limited in that typically only air or oil objectives can be used, which limits the depth of imaging to 500 to 800 microns. A high content confocal microscope is a type of microscope that is designed to image thousands of tissues a day in a well plate format. This type of instrument is designed for high throughput. Typically these instruments are inverted confocal microscopes which limits their imaging depth. All 3D imaging modalities and tissue clearing techniques have their limitations, whereas confocal microscopy is best utilized for the high resolution imaging of relatively small regions of interest. In larger tissues, confocal microscopy will have a tendency to quench fluorophores and the high resolution imaging of large tissues will take a substantial amount of time. In confocal microscopy, the overall quality and depth of imaging is entirely dependent upon the objectives being used, where high resolution deep confocal microscopy requires the use of relatively expensive objectives. The concept of how confocal microscopy actually works is relatively simple. The specific functionality and features of systems will vary, but here's a general overview. An excitation laser, or LED light source, is focused to a narrow beam of light that is passed through the microscope's objective and through a clear tissue such as a mouse brain described here. While there are many confocal microscopes that use LED light to reduce instrument costs, laser excitation is preferred for deep imaging into tissues. As the excitation light source passes through the cleared and labeled tissue, it will cause all the fluorophores in its path to fluoresce at a different wavelength than the excitation wavelength. This fluorescence is then captured by the microscope's objective and passed through a dichroic mirror which reflects the excitation wavelength but allows the emission wavelength to pass through. The magic of the confocal microscope all comes down to its pinhole mechanism which is what differentiates it from a standard epifluorescent microscope. Without the pinhole, all the fluorescent light from the entire depth of the tissue would reach the detector and the image you would see would be a very blurry composite of all of the planes within the tissue stacked on top of one another. The pinhole uses confocal lenses to focus the light that is captured from a tissue through a very narrow pinhole. This pinhole mechanism works by allowing light to pass through that is only in the focal plane of the microscope's objective. Therefore, the pinhole rejects out-of-plane light and allows the microscope to optically section tissues and acquire stacks of optical Z-slices. In determining the capability of a confocal system, the most important feature to look at is the microscope's objectives, as these will dictate the size of the tissue you can image as well as the resolution you can achieve. Here we have provided an explanation of some of the key parameters listed on your microscope's objectives. Working distance is the most important objective parameter when considering 3D tissue imaging. This is the distance from the bottom of the objective to its representative focal plane. Oil immersion objectives will typically have a working distance of less than 250 microns, and the working distances of air, water, and glycerol objectives can vary dramatically. Oil immersion objectives will typically have working distances of less than 250 microns, and the working distances of air, water, and glycerol objectives will vary. Field of view is important to consider as increasing the magnification used for imaging will reduce the field of view and considerably increase the amount of time required to image a tissue that is larger than your field of view. Numerical aperture is a measure of the range of angles of light from the focal plane that will enter the objective. Higher values are better for 3D tissue imaging as they will allow for deeper tissue imaging. Another important imaging parameter to understand is the concept of refractive index mismatch. 
As light passes from one medium, such as air, with one refracted index, to another medium, such as water, with another refracted index, it will cause the light to refract. The severity of this effect is dependent upon the degree of mismatch between the two mediums. When imaging tissues, it is very important to minimize refracted index mismatches as it will cause imaging artifacts which increase with depth. Microscope objectives are designed to perform at specific refractive indices and are matched to common mediums such as air, water, glycerol, or oil. Some objectives will have correction collars so they can be used with many different refractive indices. For example, ideally an objective that is matched to a refractive index of 1.33 for water will be dipped in water and used to image a tissue that has been cleared with an aqueous clearing technique with a refractive index also of 1.33. When imaging a tissue, try to always match refractive indices for optimum imaging depth and image quality. For additional questions on confocal microscopy or 3D tissue imaging, please reach out to us at info at